This is a short guide for users of Power BI. It's not aimed at those people building reports. It's aimed at those consuming reports and aiming to get insights and interact with these reports in the best way. Now, the most common way that you first get access to a report is somebody will send you an email. It'll look something like this, or they may have just manually copied a link and sent it to you in a report. But you click this icon and it'll open up the Power BI report. When the report opens up, you can then start interacting with it. You may have to sign in to powerbi.com the first time you do this. The beauty of Power BI is that everything interacts with each other. So you have the ability to change dates or click inside date boxes or buttons may have been provided. You can select words in charts and tables and everything is filtering everything else. You can also be provided with tool tips. So when you hover over certain numbers, you'll get different results. And even you can be provided with drill down capabilities. So these sorts of icons indicate that drill down is available. So if I right click on bikes and drill down, I now get extra information about the products. And this is very cramped. So I'm going to go to the focus mode button, which takes this one visual and fills up the entire page with it. And then I can click back to the report and I can right click and drill up to get back to where I was before. You can also multi-select. So if I want to filter on clothing in the month of September, I will hold control when I press September. So there's clothing in September. So to get rid of this filter, just click on the same thing a second time and the filters will turn off. You can also be provided with buttons. These buttons can do many things. For example, this button allows you to toggle between one visual and another. Down the left hand side, you'll see all the pages that are in your report. Often people provide you with buttons to go to another page as well. You can collapse these windows to give you more screen. You can even go full screen via the view. As it says, you can press escape to exit full screen, or if you forget, just move your mouse up the top and then a little cross will appear and you're back to where you were. So if I want to go to the analysis section, I can click that, or I could have just clicked on the page down the left hand side here. Sometimes you're giving interactive visuals where you can explore the data yourself. I want to see what's driven the highest value in bikes uh, in Europe for mountain bikes. Okay, black mountain bikes are popular in Europe. What about in the month of August? When you're done with this, you can either bookmark some of these views that you've selected, if something you're particularly interested in and want to keep an eye on, or you can reset the filters to the default and it goes back to how the report was first provided to you. Some options along the top. Now, not all of these may be visible. It depends on the settings of the person who set, sent this report to you, but you may be able to print the page. You may be able to export it to PowerPoint or PDF, or even connect to the data with Excel. You may be allowed to share the report and put somebody's email address in here. You may be able to chat in Teams to share a link to this report in a particular Teams channel, you will have to sign in. You can subscribe and add a new subscription so that you will get an email with a certain subject on a daily basis and you can toggle these items or after data refresh, 
then you'll get an email with a link to this report on a regular basis. You can also comment on this report, but please discuss this with the person who shared it with you before you start to use this feature. Underneath the top of the screen, you'll see the last date updated and a contact for who to ask about this report. When you log into Power BI in the future, you'll be able to see reports that are shared with you. So here's the sales report that was shared with me. If I click on that, it'll just open up the report. Notice that I can also favorite this, which is a good way for just pinning um, reports you use regularly. They'll show up in your favorite section or even under recents. That's another way of just getting access to reports you use a lot. Not all these options might be available. A common way of sharing reports is via apps. So if an app has been shared with you, an app is like a single report or a package of reports, and they can be shared in this manner. If it hasn't shown up for you, you may go to get apps and then go to your organization and search for those apps. Once you've got an app added, you can favorite it. And if I go into this app, we'll see that we've got two main sections, some access analytic reports and some Zebra BI reports. Here's the sales report that I've packaged up with the two pages. But I've also got a Google Analytics report for the last 30 days. So it's a nice way of packaging up reports that all fit together. And everything filters everything. Or I could collapse that section go to the Zebra BI section, have a look at their income statement analysis. So once you've done that, you can go back to Power BI. You can go to your workspaces. You may have been given access to the workspace itself. If so, you'll see this blue and orange buttons. The blue one is a report, the orange one is the underlying data. And I can just simply click on my sales report and get access this way. One additional option that may have been built in for you is the ability to drill through to another page based on something you've selected. For example, if I right click on Europe, I get the option to drill through to a map page. Now this has been set up by the report developer and it's not always obvious that this drill through is there. You do have to right click on things to work out whether that drill through option is available. Another way is there's a button sometimes provided which says select a region. So if I click on Europe, my button will then change and I can click on this to jump to the map. You can also then click on an item within a map to actually filter the table on the left hand side. And there's normally a back button provided as well to jump back to where you came from. And if I right click on North America, I could drill through this way. One other item that the report developer may have made available is a filter panel on the right hand side where you can make selections and interact and filter the report. You may also have had a dashboard shared with you. Now dashboards and reports are different things in the world of Power BI. Within reports, you can actually pin different visuals to a centralized dashboard page that will then bring together the most important visuals or pages from the various reports. 
Now here I have three different visuals from three different reports. The pinned visuals are not interactive. You can see here, they don't do anything. Whereas this visual is a pinned page and it is dynamic. I can make a change here and the numbers underneath will change. Now to navigate to a page, you just click on the visual and it will jump you to the page it came from. That visual was pinned from this chart down here. If a pinned page is present, then you have to click on the heading to navigate to the underlying page. And that's dashboards. So that's a brief summary of how to use Power BI.